We don't necessarily understand how cosmology affect biology, how uh, quantum theory affect awareness or consciousness. So everything becomes discontinuous. We've lost the ability to have a unified view of the mechanics of our universe, never mind a unified view of our existence in it or even of our relationship with each other. Uh, we can do something over here and it's not affecting anything over there because they're not related. Um, when we see in fact in natural system that everything seems to be interrelated and interconnected. So in order to unify physics, we must find what is the point of unification. And that's where ancient civilization had this link between the two, had this fundamental understanding of unification of the forces of nature. Um, and it came from this fundamental view that space-time is a energy that connects everything. Think of space as being full instead of empty. And think of the stuff in space as being part of this fullness of space. Not something separate, but something that emerged from this energy in space. In modern physics, uh, we have all these principles, these forces, for instance, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong force, the weak force. But at the base of modern physics, there is nothing that explains where these forces come from. For instance, we have no physics to describe the origin of, of even the Big Bang, the emergence the emergence of our universe, the emergence of space-time, never mind what is the structure of space-time made of. To me, this was a big hole in our understanding. Um, it's like we wrote modern physics in mid-air without a foundation, without knowing what's producing all this. And when we try to solve quantum equations, for the field at the very, very fine level of the structure of space, we found that there was almost infinite amount of energy there. Um, and we called it vacuum fluctuations. Uh, so it's a little deceiving because when you think vacuum, you're thinking empty. You're not thinking full. What science has found is that when we look at the vacuum, at the very fine level of the quantum state, the vacuum is fluctuating with an almost infinite amount of energy, a significantly large number, 10 to the 93 grams per centimeter cubed. The vacuum density, better known as the Planck density at the quantum scale, is enormous. 10 to the 93 grams per centimeter cubed is more than if we take all the stars in the universe, all the galaxies combined, and compress them down to one centimeter cubed. Imagine how energetic that would be.